I've been accused of not being American. And it's not because I speak other languages. What am I talking about? And what is the etymology of America? Let's find out together. I'm Luke, and this is Plymouthy. So why do I say this about me not being American? Obviously, this is the United States of America. And for short, we call it simply America. But not every language in the world would call this country America or myself an American. Languages like Spanish and Portuguese. Traditionally, Spanish and Portuguese, America refers to what in English we define as two continents, North and South America. Depending on the language and traditions in that language, North and South America are either one continent called America or as they are normally considered in English, two continents. So how can this be America if the word actually refers to two continents? Well, it's different in different languages. English speakers, probably, and especially Americans, have no problem calling themselves Americans. That is the proper demonym of people from this country, Americans. Demonym from demos and onoma in Greek. The name of the people, our demonym in English, is American. But in Spanish, they call us Estadounidenses, United Statesians or something. We have no word for an English that is is universal or really used by anyone. But there do exist a couple of humdingers like Usonian and United Station. Ugh. United States Americans or something like that is almost never used. US Americans are like such as and... Except in the most ridiculous of circumstances though, I wouldn't say it's wrong per se. Indeed, that's how you say it in German, US Americana. There are quite a few Spanish speaking countries in North and South America, countries like Argentina and Mexico. Now, these people also call themselves in Spanish, American or Americanos. Both of these are perfectly reasonable from a point of view of terminology or geography. Europe is traditionally considered to be a separate continent from Asia, but looking on the map, we see that the border between Europe and Asia is thousands of kilometers long. What's the name of America from? The word America is the feminine version of the Latin name of Amerigo Vespucci. His Latin name would have been Amerigus, probably because that I-C-A, like Matematica, say Italian and Latin, that Ica sounds like a kind of a suffix, so that's probably why the accent shifted from America to America, America. Amerigo Vespucci, as an explorer, he was able to map a good part of the Americas. And help to identify that these continents are different from, say, the Indies. The name America, as given to these continents, was coined by the German cartographer Martin Walzemüller in the 1500s, after the discoveries of Amerigo Vespucci. So to summarize a bit, and pardon me if I repeat myself in this video, but a lot of people have trouble with these concepts, in English standard usage, the word America has the meaning of the United States of America, primarily and virtually exclusively. And calling people Americans in English implies that their nationality is of the United States, since American is the only standard demonym. The term Americans is not applied to other people from North and South America who are called North Americans and South Americans in English. Thus, the people of the United States of America are Americans by nationality and North Americans geographically by their continent, just as Canadians and Mexicans and all other nationalities from the North American continent are North Americans and Brazilians and Argentines and Colombians, etc. are South Americans but not Americans, not in English. Long before American independence, both the colonists that were living here and the people back in England were calling the people in America, Americans, specifically the British colonists. So it's entirely all right for Americans to call themselves Americans. It's the short version of the country's name, the United States of America, which right here at Independence Hall was signed into existence with the Declaration of Independence and later the Constitution. George Washington, in particular, after which the city was named, wanted New Yorkers, New Jerseyans, Massachusetts, Virginians, Pennsylvanians, all these people to call themselves not by the state that they were from, but by Americans, to be a united people, one national identity composed, of course, of the many states. 
So the demonym of citizens of the United States and things related to the United States, being American, actually predates the country itself. And it's certainly exactly how nearly every English speaker refers to people from the United States. It's not that way in Spanish, though. To help English speakers get an intuition for the Spanish and, to a lesser extent, Portuguese way of thinking about this, consider that, in English, Central America is a geographical subset of North America, a subcontinent, and not a separate continent. Similarly, in Spanish, North America and South America are just subcontinents of America. If Spanish-speaking viewers find it strange that the name America is applied in English to just one country in a vast continent that also bears that name, then, like I mentioned before, we English speakers need to tell you how strange it is for us that you often call people from the United States Norte Americanos, even though in Spanish the geographical area called Norte America or America del Norte includes Mexico, Belize, Costa Rica, El Salvador, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, and Panama on the mainland. To say nothing of all the island nations in the Caribbean that are part of North America. Still, the common Spanish usage of Norte Americanos to refer to people from the United States is really no stranger than the English term American to refer exclusively to the same citizens. That's simply how the names have come about. Geographical terms and demonyms often have a lot of asymmetry. This kind of asymmetry exists for other languages as well. For example, the Dutch are from the Netherlands. Just like languages themselves, there's an incredible amount of asymmetry in every single name of every country and ethnicity and religion out there. So the expectation that English speakers, as well as in many other languages, we, that we should change the name, the short name of the United States of America from America to something else is utterly bizarre, and it should be. But we as Americans, as English speakers, we should also be cognizant of the fact that if we try to call ourselves Americanos in Spanish, it's not going to work because Americanos is just a geographical term. It's like Europeans who call themselves well, European because they're from the continent of Europe or maybe part of the European Union. So this, like so many other aspects of language, is highly asymmetrical. Words are often used for systematic categorization. So we often expect there to be symmetry, but the reality is that language is filled with irregularities. If you speak a language other than English, what do you call America and Americans? And what do you think of this linguistic asymmetry? Let me know in the comments. Gracias y hasta luego. And that's because they refer in English. And we realize then his name. And then some German cartographers. Mühlbrucker. Mühlheimer. Bubbyheimer. But in but in but in Spanish and but in Spanish. Which is to Brazilian's not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> because uh, some people out there in our nation don't have maps, and uh, I believe that our ed education, like such as in South Africa and uh, the Iraq, everywhere, like such as, and. Thank you very much.